So I've been walking around these last two days and I've been noticing this thing. Is this hidden technology or something? No, no, no. This ain't hidden technology. Every team in the pit area is running these boxes, okay? And a box, when you say box, that's this. Yeah, basically it's made, it's it's mandated pretty much. I think this is the only thing you can run in USAC racing. This is the brain box, basically. Uh, control module, ignition system, whatever. It's a really cool little piece. You can download, you know, your RPM and your battery and your sparking pan. So it's like a data collector almost? It is a data, a data collector, but it only collects data on what USAC will allow you to collect data on. I feel like that there's a bunch of teams in the pit area. But this, this is mainly all controlled by your engine builder. So Speedway or Stanton is the main guys that are in this for you. And are those those guys walking around with a computer laptop? Is that what they're yeah, doing? Yeah, the TRD guys or Eric from Stanton is walking around checking his engines. He can look at a couple different things just the same way that I can here. Um, your RMS teams, your Petri teams, you know, your Macintosh teams, me. I'm pretty sure that everybody is downloading these things pretty much every time they run, you know. And if they're not, honestly, they're leaving something on the table. This is the main event from tonight. So the yellow line in this particular uh, scene here is Spark Advance. The purple line is uh, sync position. The green line is your battery. And the red line is your RPM. And is that a, what most people are looking at? Uh, I don't really know what the other people look at. Um, I look at ECU temp sometimes because of where my ECU is located on my car. It's something that I want to change in the future because this box actually gets too hot where it's located. Uh, so I do look at my ECU temp sometimes. But again, what you can look at is mandated by USAC. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what other people are doing, but I'm only looking at the stuff that you're allowed to look at, pretty much. And I, I think that if teams are not looking at this stuff, that they're leaving a little something on the table because there's a lot of information. Here. Now you have this in in here. Obviously, you're on Honda. Uh, is, is that? I'm assuming the RPM deal, because you say, or you said before, the gear is sometimes what y'all kind right, of struggle so with. I, Can this narrow that down? Yeah, I use this to help me find out what gear I want to run, right? So after practice, I download this real quick, and I can see what my high and low and average RPM was. Now, where would that be? I guess the spike would be your high. Yeah, so, you know, if you come over here and you zoom in on stuff, right, or even zoom in more, you know, we can zoom in and keep zooming in and zoom in and zoom in. Right. So we, you know, we look at our RPM, and so right there I'm at 9,000 RPM, you know, but right here I'm at 4,300 RPM. So when you zoom that out, you kind of see like the levels that you're getting yeah. as far as like yeah, what, so what the consistent uh, high RPM and low RPM is. What your drops are, and then too, once you get used to using it, you can kind of tell where the laps, you know, where the corners are and what's going on. You don't have GPS, which would be a very nice addition to this system to be able to have GPS in it. I don't know if USAC would allow it or not, but then you could really see where you are on the track every lap, you know, and pinpoint an exact place. So really that drop, could, you're trying to determine by looking at these sketches where he's kind of like lifting or the, a, a dig point on the track, technically. Yeah, where the motor's bogging, where he's lifting, how much RPM you're turning getting into the corner, how much it's dropping in the center of the corner. And it changes drastically by how tight or free the car is, you know, or the track is, or what the driver's doing. Um, you know, again, there's so much you could do with this that's not legal. You can see actual throttle trace instead of RPM trace. Um, is that limited in the box or limited in the program? It's limited by USAC. So therefore, it's limited in the box. Okay. This box is specifically made for USAC. Um, anyways, it's just a cool piece uh, that there's a lot of information there that people really ought to be using. Now, once again, private with you, but what about some of these other teams that got like a Toyota? Uh, so when the, Toyota comes and gets that, can other teams access their information? No. So Toyota and SR11 both use this exact same box, okay? And that's why you see the Toyota guys running around and they check the Toyota team's boxes. But and nobody's supposed to get that information, right? Like, I'm assuming if they go to like the RMS team and they scan what they're doing, 
and then they scan Toyota, KKM. They they can't KKM can't say I want to know what RMS is doing. Well, I would hope not. I mean, they're using the same engine builder, but I would hope there would be some privacy there, and I'm sure that there is, and I'm sure it's the same way with Stanley, and it would be the same way with me too. So. I'm going to give everybody exactly what I'm running, but I'm not going to tell anybody what the other guy's running because you could go to the dyno and you could play around with this stuff, you know, and maybe find a game. You would hope that your engine builder's already got it fully maximized so that there's no games to be found, but there's always something to be found. Right. You know, uh, but you might find a little bit of power, but you might hurt reliability. But if you're a billionaire, it might not matter. Now, with this Honda deal you got going, what what's the development since earlier in the year when Flo did their segment on you? Have you sold any motors? Yeah, we have sold a couple motors. It's been cool. Um, it's it's a hard process, man. I mean, you know, these, these things are these are real race motors. You know, it's a TRD part number. I mean, Gary Stenson, I don't know how old he is, but he's been building engines for a long time. I'm probably the youngest engine builder in this game, you know, and... It's hard to do. Um, it takes a lot of custom parts. These things are running hard, you know. Low RPM for tonight, I think, was, well, my average RPM was 7,500 in this particular screen here, you know. But super cool. I'm kind of glad that USAC mandates that everybody use it. Uh, I don't think that everybody is using it to its full potential. But again, while there is a ton of information there, it is pretty limited by rule. So, you know, if you're working with Speedway and the Toyota guys or Stanton and those guys or me, then those three engine builders are pretty much going to know what they're looking at. They're looking at this. Now, thing. is it legal for a Toyota team to have their own laptop? Or? Yeah, it's totally legal. Like, I have my own. Like, the Toyota guys will still go around, but you can still do stuff in-house as well. Yeah. Like, so Keith or RMS or Petrie or boat or macintosh any of the toyota teams they can have this program they can own this program and they can do anything they want to but if they go in and start messing with it then maybe their engine builder says hey dude you've been messing with this we already did that five years ago on dyno and blew one up you know you don't need to be doing that or they might say oh wow look what you found we didn't know that right that's probably not gonna happen but you know, too many people has run too many times, you yeah. know. So, so you know, I would imo I would imagine that you don't want your, you know, your, as an engine builder, you don't want your customers to have this because they can hurt their motor with this. Uh, and then, of course, they're going to blame me. They might go to the dyno when you don't know about it, find 10 horsepower, or think they found 10 horsepower, and really actually did find 10 horsepower on the screen, but don't realize that two years ago, I blew up four motors because I did that because I had 10 horsepower, you know. So, as an engine builder, you probably don't want your customers really messing around with that very much because, you know. Sounds like a lot of trial and error you went through to get this Honda where it's at. Well, yeah, I think everybody knows that. <laughs> We're blowing up a bunch of them dudes. But, you know what, I don't really care, man. I mean, I've blown up a bunch of motors early in my Supercross years. I worked for... Some of the most successful teams there's ever been in Supercross and Motocross. The guys with the best engines blew up the most motors. Right. They worked hard at it and they blew a bunch of stuff up. So how many motors are coming out of the, the Bundy built shop? How many you got lined up to hit the shelves? I hope to have five at Chili Bowl. Five at Chili Bowl. By Chili Bowl. Five by Chili Bowl. Yep. And multiple teams, not just in-house teams yep, or local? Yeah, multiple teams. There should be four teams. Four teams with five engines uh, at the Chili Bowl. 